On September 22nd, 2020, Tesla held their Battery Day event at the Fremont plant in California. And it strangely looked a lot like the Cars movie, but at it, Elon Musk teased a new $25,000 Tesla model coming in the next three years. Now, Tesla has promised cheap EVs in the past, but they haven't really delivered on those promises. So, is this $25,000 Tesla gonna be any different? Let's dig into the data and find out. Before we get into the video though, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, the FTD Academy. Data is the blood that courses through the economy's veins. It drives everything we do. And knowing how to work with data is a key to success in virtually all lines of work these days. The good news is that it's not as hard as it may seem. The key is to be able to communicate with that data, not just crunch the numbers, but present that information in a way that moves people to act. This is why I created the FTD Academy or the Free the Data Academy. It's to help you make a greater impact in your career by learning how to use data. And you can get started all for free with my course that shows you how to turn a boring spreadsheet into an interactive dashboard. The possibilities really are endless here and all you have to do is take that first step. So if you wanna learn more and sign up for free for my intro course, go to ftdacademy.com slash Ben. Now let's get back to the video. Let's rewind the clock back to the year 2009. Tesla published a press release announcing their mass market car with a 300 mile range and a quick charge time of 45 minutes, all for less than $50,000. Plus it can be charged at home from a regular outlet. This of course was the original Tesla Model S announced in 2009 with the expected production date to begin around 2011 with a base price of $49,900. Elon followed up the press release by saying, the Model S costs half as much as the Roadster, and it's a better value than much cheaper cars. The ownership costs of the Model S, if you were to lease and then account for the much lower cost of electricity versus gasoline at a likely future cost of $4 per gallon, is similar to a gasoline car with a sticker price of around $35,000. I'm positive this car will be the preferred choice of savvy consumers. Well, what happened? When the Model S first came out, they started with the higher end models, the 85 and the 85 Performance. Then later, they came out with the Model S 60. Then finally, after all that was available for order, Tesla opened it up for that $49,900 version, which boasted a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack in a range of around 139 miles, plus some missing features over the 60 kilowatt hour pack. So not really a great buy considering the 60 with 100 more miles plus other added features was only $10,000 more. And the folks interested in Tesla's at the time were not exactly your bargain shoppers. So this cheap Model S went on sale in 2012, and by March of 2013, it was pulled due to lack of demand, according to Tesla. The funny thing is, Tesla never even actually made a 40 kilowatt hour version of the Model S, and instead, they just software locked the 60 kilowatt hour version, and then later, they offered people the ability to upgrade for $10,000. This might seem crazy if you're new to Tesla, but if you've been following since 2018 or so, this might sound pretty familiar. If you remember, the Model 3 was supposed to cost $35,000 for the base model, but of course, they started out with the higher end models just like they did with the Model S. Specifically, they started with the long range rear wheel drive premium version, which is the one I ended up getting back in January of 2018. Later, they came out with the performance version and the all wheel drive version of the Model 3. After that, they came out with the standard range plus, and then finally in February of 2019, over one year from when they started delivering the Tesla Model 3 in general, the $35,000 Model 3 was available for order. At the time, it came with 220 miles of range, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, and a zero to 60 time of 5.6 seconds. Not bad. A pretty good deal given the price per mile of any other EV out there at the time. But alas, the $35,000 Model 3 was pulled from the website just two months later. Now, reportedly you can still order one of these direct from the store, or if you live in a state like Texas where Tesla is still banned from selling their cars, you can place your order online for the standard range plus at $37,900, and then call in and have them switch it over to the standard range version, which is that $35,000 one. So when can we expect this new $25,000 Tesla? My guess, it's likely the same type of rollout, but dollar for dollar, hopefully better specs than we've seen today. I'm thinking that the first version of this, let's call it the Model 2, will start around $35,000, just under the starting price of the Model 3. My thinking there is they don't wanna cannibalize Model 3 sales, which are still their bread and butter. So price it just below that. In doing that, they'll have to offer a lot less as to not compete with themselves again. 
So based on this rendering, which Tesla's design team published, it will likely be a small two-door variant that doesn't really sell well here in the US, but is really popular in Europe and Asia. As for the performance specs, I'm guessing will be a zero to 60 time in under five seconds for the high end. Elon did say it will have full self-driving capabilities, and I'm guessing autopilot will cost extra to really knock down that price for the base model. And as far as styling goes, I trust the Tesla design team, they're gonna make a beautiful car. In terms of range, probably the most important factor here, especially for a cheap EV, I think you'll see close to 300 miles of range for the higher end one and likely 200 miles on the low end. And this is because at Battery Day, Tesla announced their recent improvements to all the different aspects of the battery production line. And in the end, these will lead to a 56% reduction in battery costs. So they should be able to deliver a compelling range for a cheap price but of course, this begs the question, how are they gonna make all these batteries? Well, Tesla has announced that they're gonna have one plant in the US that will start making them in about three years, the same time that this new car is supposed to be in production. And at that time, if they have a huge demand, they'll likely not be able to keep up with all the orders that they have coming in. So that leads me to believe that this model will be officially unveiled in three years and production will start a year or so later. Of course, they'll start with the more expensive variants, so that $25,000 one won't come about a year after that. And if our data is predictive at all, it will only be available for a few months before they pull it from the website. Add that all up, and my best guess is you'll be able to order this $25,000 Tesla Model 2, I guess we're calling it, in about five years. Then you'll be able to get basically the same thing as the more expensive one, just software limited and offered that upgrade at a later time. But why would they do this? Why would this make sense from a business standpoint? First off, the more expensive ones generally have a higher profit margin. So as you need tons of cash to build out these new lines and everything that supports them, you'll want to sell the higher profit versions first to cover those costs. Then after that, you'll start to whittle it down as you gain efficiency until you can finally deliver on that promise, of course. But by that time, as you get closer towards that price, a lot of people that were holding out for the really cheap version will realize that for just a few thousand dollars more, they're gonna get a lot more car and they'll go ahead and order one anyways. This is exactly what happened with the Model S and the Model 3. And when it comes to the Model 3, I think this makes total sense. For about 3,000 more, you get longer range and more premium options, which considering the car will save you loads on gas and other costs, it's not a bad deal. Now, if you're new to Tesla, this might all sound like heresy, but trust me, this is how they do it. And I'm here to help you set these expectations so you're not stuck in this perpetual state of limbo, waiting for that elusive next Tesla to be available for you to place your order. And if you wanna see more about that fateful day in September when Tesla announced this new model, give my recap of Battery Day video a look over here as I tried to boil it down to just the essential bits. Of course, subscribe if you're not already, share this video with someone that needs to see this information. And as always, remember, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you guys back here in the next one.